from the time I was born after my biological parents from Ireland had given me up because they could not handle my life-threatening medical condition. I spent the first two months of my life in the neonatal intensive care unit, and I was struggling to survive, fighting for life. I was placed by the state in a foster home, so my foster mother was an elderly African-American woman with the name of Lillian Collins. And she so lovingly cared for me, loved me to pieces. And along with caring for my two feelings and my tracheostomy care, as I needed the tracheostomy to breathe. adopted at age three. A very special family in Indiana who had adopted ten other children, all with special needs. But I credit my adoptive parents and my siblings for saving my life and giving me a chance to overcome my adversity, to make a wonderful impact on this world. And my mom is still living in Indiana. We just celebrated her 98th birthday. She outlived the Queen of England, and I think of my mom as my own queen. What's your name? I'm Dave Heinemann. I have encountered throughout my later adulthood that I will have so many chance encounters where strangers will come up to me, ask me very interesting questions, and a lot of uh, long-lasting close friendships have begun that way. I used to live in Green Mountain. adopted siblings so he's like my brother from another mother. How long have you guys known each other? Well since like two years we met in person at a 4th of July party and the rest is history. 
The rest is history. <laughs> well, I'm going to log pretty well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just different pace, right? Tell him what you said. I compare us to each other. He is a super savage jet boy, always at a fast pace, whilst I am a slow pace like a steamship. Hey, watch it there, Francis. Watch it there. <laughs> it works. Yeah, it's fun. You have a good social life because of me, huh? Yes. Ne never a dull moment. No. Yeah. Last year was my first Halloween party, and I dressed as a Star Trek alien. And he's giving hugs to people, and somehow his ear fell off. So my girlfriend shouts out, Everyone, don't move! Francis lost his ear! And everyone's like, What? <laughs> his ear? So it just pops right off, so we were able to find it in the kitchen in the corner. So show him. Show him your ear. So can you hear anything, Francis? He has no idea what I'm saying. There you go. All right, can no, you hear me now? Yeah. You can hear me now? All right, good. <laughs> it's like the Verizon commercial. <laughs> can you hear me now? <laughs>